I've been looking at, at the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles, and at the moment I've been looking at Acts chapter 16. And I wanted to have a little talk about how this chapter begins as well, and what we see happening. So the, the course of Acts tells us quite a lot about how the gospel, the good news of Jesus, moves from the Jewish world and enters into the Gentile world, into the world where non-Jews are living, and how it impacts them as well. And we read that um, uh, this, this little bit at the beginning of Acts 16, he came to Derby and then to Lystra, oh, that's, that's Paul, where a disciple named Timothy lived, whose mother was a Jewess and a believer, but whose father was a Greek. The brothers at Lystra and Iconium spoke well of him. Paul wanted to take him along on the journey, so he circumcised him because of the Jews who lived there in that area. They all knew his father was a Greek. As they travelled from town to town, they delivered the decisions reached by the apostles and elders in Jerusalem for the people to obey. The churches were strengthened in the faith and grew daily in numbers. And so we have this very interesting passage because there's something that seems strange. It seems that the previous chapter, Acts 15, the church has really wrestled with the difficulties about Jewish customs. They've come to conclusions about it. And then immediately in Acts 16, it appears that Paul has just gone along with Jewish customs. It appears that he's um, somehow, has he bowed to the pressure? Um, what, what's happened exactly? Why is he um, uh, going along with this idea and, and then making sure that Timothy is circumcised? Now, as a rabbi, that would be something that he'd be very familiar with. And we realise that Timothy is in a strange position. So he has... Uh, Greek heritage, so non-Jewish heritage, and also uh, his mother is a Jewess. In actual fact, later on we we read in the New Testament that uh, his uh, his faith is very inspired by both his mother and grandmother. So they have been very instrumental. We're not told really about his father. We're not told about uh, the background of his father. We don't know anything about him and we don't know whether he's a believer, we assume probably not. He's certainly not mentioned as the inspiration towards his godly heritage. Um, and it's quite possible at this time that you know, relatively few Gentiles were uh, believers, but we, we don't know that for sure. Uh, uh, but we do know he has some Jewish background. But this question about whether he fits in and what would happen and how he'd be seen and how things would be perceived seems to be very important and so Paul is uh, doing something just to recognize the importance of the mission is that so there won't be a stumbling block so there won't be an obstacle straight away he's he's working at that obstacle immediately and and can turn around with all um, uh, with all sort of due conscience and say yes Timothy is circumcised um, if that question arises. Now, we understand sometimes that there are measures and choices and, and decisions we need to make um, so that we won't be a stumbling block to the gospel, so that things about us uh, will not be an unnecessary barrier. And I want to pray today that God would really help us with that. Sometimes we, we let things become an obstacle and uh, we don't necessarily uh, think about how they would be a hindrance and, and a stumbling block for people. But it's quite important that we don't do things that are unnecessarily offensive. Um, but we need God's wisdom. So I pray for that for us, that we would experience God's wisdom.